Hey, what's happening truckers and truckettes out there? Good morning. Uh, I wanted to I'll talk to you guys about the uh, tandem locks and uh, the tandem brake, the handbrake here, okay? Uh, I wanted to explain to you guys the do's and don'ts and what I actually use it for. Now, uh, after adjusting your tandems, I've been seeing a lot of guys get back out of their trucks. I mean, of course, it depends on the type of uh, tandems that you have. If you have the old uh, uh, hand mechanism uh, tandems, then uh, you won't be able to do this method, okay? Um, after you've made the adjustments to the tandems, right, you don't have to get back out of the truck to um, push the knob in to lock the tandems. All you have to do is push in the uh, uh, trailer air supply brake. That's all that you have to do is push that in and it will lock it. Okay, it will lock it. Now, if um, if you need to lock it going backwards or going forwards, you after, after you've done that, right? After you push this in, you drive the trailer, uh, you drive your truck at least five miles, no, less than, about three miles an hour uh, for about 10 feet. And then you use the hand brakes to lock it in. You don't use your foot brakes, okay? You don't use your foot panels. Um, you use the hand brakes, okay? Uh, because uh, when you use the uh, foot brakes, okay, all the brakes will come on and you won't properly lock. So you use the hand brakes. You drive about three miles an hour for 10 feet, pull the hand brakes, the brakes on the tandems will come on. And as the box trailer and your tractor move, uh, the tandems would stop and you would lock into place, okay? You don't even have to get out, okay? Now, the way that I check my uh, tandem position without getting out is as I'm making adjustments to the tandems while backing up and moving forward, I keep my trailer, uh, my, my tractor turned at a slight angle to the point where I can see uh, my tandems. So that's how I know I'm in the proper position, especially after doing it for so many years. I know, uh, I almost know about the exact uh, uh, lock hole that I'm in. Um, and that only comes from experience. But when it comes to the handbrakes, also, don't use this at all uh, when you're driving down the road or anything like that. The primary reason that you don't use the handbrakes, okay, especially in slippery weather, don't use it at all when you're on a highway, when you're driving. First, safety. When you use only the tandem brakes, let's say you're making a curve, uh, and you use this and it's slippery outside uh, When only the tandem brakes come on your trailer and track can possibly fishtail and then you end up losing control Okay, so never use this on the highway second reason is because when all that air pressure All the air pressure is not divided when the air pressure is not divided between the tractor and the trailer all of that air pressure goes through that blue cable, your service cable, and it will cause it to explode. Okay, especially in the winter time, if you if you have the uh, regular coil uh, airlines, that those airlines is more plastic than rubber. Okay, the straight airlines is more rubber than plastic, and those are much better. I'm going to invest in those myself, but. Uh, that's the education for today for all the new guys that's out there, even for some of the uh, veteran guys, but mostly the veteran guys who are mama-papa drivers, okay? Happy trucking and be safe out there, you guys.